guys, it's May. Um, we are still on the Isle of Keldenas. I actually, um, all of the quests on here are dailies. So I ran around earlier and did them all again just for the rep. <coughs> But while I was doing that, I found a couple of quests that I missed. Um, for the sake of the fact that we're mostly doing Magister's Terrace on this stream, um, I went ahead and completed the quest while I was running around, um, but I didn't turn them in yet, so um, there's a quest in this little building right by the water. This chick actually has two. The eternal sun guides um, us. Rediscovering your roots and open for business. Hold your head high. Open for business said welcome. Svetlana, there are a number of ways I can assist you in your efforts here. For example, I've recently discovered a recipe for a unique elixir. The bloodberry grows wild in many regions of Azeroth and has, has long been considered nothing more than a nuisance. I've learned, though, that when exposed to the Sunwell's power, this plant takes on special properties that can be distilled and imbibed to magnify one's abilities. Bring me a sample from, a nearby, from the nearby bushes and I'll show you what I mean. And these bushes were just scattered around the island. Um, they were highlighted not difficult to see. I picked from five of them. Um, the dark times will pass. So, and it's bloodberry. Turn that in. We'll get the bloodberry elixir. Stay the course. Her other quest A new was rediscovering Delinar. your roots. Remember the sun well. Um, is a quest that's back in Terracar that we can do. We'll probably do like a stream separately just for cleaning up kind of these random errand things all over Azeroth. But this quest says, My stocks are presently sufficient, but I'll need plenty of razor thorn roots to keep up with the demand. Collecting the roots is difficult, but I know a special method of extraction. Using the glands of the razor thorn flares... One can control a ravager there and use it to expose a root. To find the roots, travel to Outlands and find and fly northeast from Shatroth until you reach Razorthorn Rise. Return to me once you have collected five of the roots. So I have that one sitting. I untracked it for now. Um, and we'll go back and do that one later. The other quest that I found was on this ship over here. Called Disrupt the Green Gill Coast. Says the Naga have taken the Green Gill Coast to the southeast. Their females, the Dark Spine Sirens, are using magic to enslave the indigenous Murlocs. It's my responsibility to see to it that whatever. Excuse me. Hmm. Whatever the Naga are up to over there is disrupted. That's where you come in. Hunter, I want you to get the controlling orbs from the female Naga and throw them near the Green Gale slaves, breaking the orb and setting the Murlocs free. My guess is that the Murlocs will be incensed and turn on their masters. So I just did that. Um, the quest that we did last time was to get keys from the male Naga and unlock the chest to get the ore. So I completed this quest while I was down there doing that. Um, the females will give you the orbs. Drop rate's pretty good. Um, and you can throw them at multiple murlocs at once. It's got a decent area to throw. So that was pretty simple. And we can go ahead and yes. turn this one in too. Salama Ashalanore. Um, and then all the other quests I have.
one done. These are the two that we'll need to go outside of Keldanos form. I was going to do a little, because I didn't do this last time, my last video I was actually falling asleep while I was playing. <laughs> I was very quiet, um, so I apologize for that. But... Hmm. I figured I'd give a little... rundown of Keldanos while we were here. And then we'll head on to Magister's Terrace, which we have a quest for. So, the Isle of Keldanos is... Um, an island north of the, western, the Eastern Kingdoms and one of the three areas that make up Kelthalos. Its little history starts here. 7,000 years ago, when Kelthalos was founded, Dathramar Sunstrider, ruler of the new elven kingdom, created a mystic fountain at a convergence of ley lines on this island off of the northern coast of Eversong Woods utilizing a vial of water stolen from the Well of Eternity sometime before the Great Sundering. As a result, the island, which became known as Keldanas, is also known as the Sunwell Isle. The Sunwell's power allowed the elves to build their cities and shape their land, as well as defend their city. During the Second War, the elven magisters used, it to po used its power to erect a shield around Silvermoon City to hold off the old Horde's invasion. In the Third War, separated from the mainland by a channel of the North Sea, this island nonetheless came under attack during the Third War. When the corrupted Prince Arthas Menethil led the Scourge in its slaughtering rampage through Kelthalos, um, Using the power of Frostmourne, Arthas had created a bridge of ice linking Keldanos to the mainland, allowing him and his forces to reach the Sunwell Isle and carry out their dark mission to resurrect Kalthazed. The Dead Scar, a uh, huge <laughs> um, path of blight that splits Kalthalos in two, marking the route that Arthas's legion took over the Sunwell, abruptly ends about halfway across the island near the entrance to the Sunwell Plateau. The Sunwell was befouled with the resurrection of Kelthazad, and the island left to rot as the Scourge continued its relentless march through northern Lordaeron. During, this, during his invasion of Keldanos, Arthas slew the High Elf King and Asterian Sunstrider, battled the Grand Magister Belavir Salinar, and between his minions and the treacherous Darkon Drathir, the entire convocation of Silvermoon was slaughtered. In the aftermath of the battle, Keltha Sunstrider and a raid of volunteers attacked the Isle, fighting off both the Scourge and the Amani in order to destroy the tainted Sunwell. And this next part's coming from the Sunwell trilogy. The Warcraft manga and comics. After the merciless campaign of Arthas, the essence of the Sunwell endured, kept hidden by a mysterious mage known as Borel. Sometime after the fall of Kelthalos, Darkon returned, along with a human girl in Vina. The Blood Elves guarded the Isle to some capacity as Darkon's presence was soon discovered. Lorthamar, Theron, and Haldoran Brightwing immediately led a group of the Far Striders to the site of the Sunwell and faced Darkon. The traitor raised undead elves and sent them against the living ones, forcing the Far Striders to retreat. Soon, Kalagos and his group also approached the ruined isle and encountered a fell hunter. At the same time, Sylvanas Windrunner also happened to be there, as well as Borel, 
as well as a Burrell, later revealed to be the Red Dragon, Coriel Straws, who originally created Anvina when the Sunwell was first destroyed. They all teamed up against Darkon, and when he was about to subdue Anvina's power, she instead used the power to defeat the traitor. The Blood Elven leadership then vowed to protect Anvina, keeping her safe for several years, along with Kallik. And next is in history is from where we're at during the Burning Crusade. Kael the Sunstrider, former leader of the Blood Elves, eventually revealed himself as the Legion's formidable new ally. Despite furious opposition from his own people, Kael thus persisted in his efforts, believing that he would obtain infinite power. Nearly six years after its destruction, the Sunwell has been reactivated by the power-mad Kael'thas and his demonic allies and is being used as a mystic portal to summon his master, the Eridar overlord Kil'jaeden. At the end of the Dead Scar, near the still-shattered structures at its edge, Eridar warlocks and Wrathguard stand vigilant, and even some remnants of the Scourge's forces remain. The Blood Elven forces still loyal to Kael'thas make their final stand on the isle in defense of their prince, as the time of reckoning for all the Sindori draws near. The prince has also brought his Naga allies with him, along with ethereal mercenaries and other creatures willing to fight for him. In response to the threat presented by Prince Kael'thas' operations on the Sunwell Isle, the Shatar, masters of Shatra City, rallied the Draenei priests of the Aldor and the Blood Elf Magisters of the Scryers into a unified army and dispatched them to Azeroth to end Kael'thas' nefarious scheme. This army, known as the Shattered Sun Offensive, has claimed the outpost of Sun's Reach and begins to retake the isle island from Kael'thas' legions. The Shattered Sun gradually reclaimed much of the Isle and branched out to tackle most of its threats, and with the help of adventurers, like us, succeeded in defeating Kael'thas within Magister's Terrace and storming the Sunwell Plateau. Which is what we will be doing next. Ultimately, Kael'thas was slain, and Kil'jaeden was defeated and banished back to his would-be portal. This was a huge victory for the Blood Elf and Draenei soldiers and all who opposed the Legion's Burning Crusade. The Sunwell was restored in the battle's aftermath by Prophet Valen, and now not only a fount of arcane power, but holy light as well. After some of its darkest days, and with some unlikely aid, the Sunwell's rebirth and the victories of Keldanas have inspired all of Kael'thas to forge a brighter future. So, that's where we're at, that's what we're gonna do. Magister's Terrace is first, just up here. The quest that we have for it. Came from Captain Theris Donharth, who said, we recently sent in an expeditionary force to Magister's Terrace to stop the Legion forces there. However, we haven't heard from them since, and I fear the worst. Will you go there and try to find Exarch Blarathor? He's in charge of the expedition. We got that in the last time, right over here. So, let's head up there. And get this done. It's a really beautiful island. Don Hearth thought we were dead? Ha! I haven't sent a report because we haven't made any progress past this point. Perhaps you can help us change that? Remember the lessons of the past. 
We've had a contact embedded in Magister's Terrace gathering intelligence for us for some time now, but we've lost contact with him. The information he was collecting is vital to our mission. So he wants us to go find Tyrith, a blood elf spy. We cannot afford to lose this war. I'd like to empower our sentries so that brave men and women don't have to die. The Legion has gotten a hold of a powerful elemental being. Its essence could be just what we need. So we will kill Vexilus and obtain his essence. And lastly, the Legion and Kael'thas' forces are becoming increasingly intertwined. This concerns me very deeply. From what we can gather, Selen, Fireheart, and Priestess Delrissa work closely together to unite the two armies. You need to stop them. May your days be long and your hardships few. And for rep purposes, I'm gonna just be killing everything in here. I know it's common to run past a lot of things. my time he does not okay this is like a really cool but also super creepy image man of worms oh. Spy. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. Come closer, Draenei. Listen carefully to my words. Go to the terrace. Use the orb. Tirith gasps for breath. Hurry. They must be stopped before they can...
should do that. If you ever hear my dogs in the background, I apologize. Oh. Sweet. Calicos. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Who are you? I am Calicos of the Blue Dragon Flight. I have watched over the nascent powers of the Sunwall for some time. Now I see that its terrible power could usher in the end of our world. What can we do to assist you? Defeating Kael'thas is a task worthy of your undivided attention. Beyond that, if you are capable of organizing an army, there are many wrongs in the Sunwell to be addressed. Perhaps we shall meet again there. There is no time to waste. What brings you to the Sunwell? A friend and I have come to rescue a young human woman from the clutches of the Legion Lord, Kil'jaeden, and his vile minions. We discovered that Kael'thas is trying to summon Kil'jaeden from the depths of the Sunwell itself. For the sake of this world, this cannot come to pass. I am committed to seeing that it does not. You're not alone here. Madragosa accompanied me on this journey, but we have become separated in the Sunwell. May fate keep her safe. Kil'jaeden must be destroyed. Um, and then the other question was, what would Kil'jaeden want with a mortal woman? And Vina is no mere mortal, Draenei. Those who recognize her true nature stop at nothing to possess her. She once rescued me, and now I intend to return the favor. There is no time to waste. I consider it to be no coincidence that our paths cross this day. I sense the tendrils of destiny. As you've now witnessed, the Legion forces work tirelessly, manipulating the Sunwell's power to achieve their malevolent ends. Kael'thas has risen from the ashes of defeat and once more leads them in their efforts. He must be stopped. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Cool. Kil'jaeden must be destroyed. So how the fuck do I get there? Oh, I see. Can I go down this way? Do I just jump? No. The fate of the world hangs in the balance.
I'm out of range. Too far away. Priestess Delrissa. Don't look so smug. I know what you're thinking, but Tempest Keep was merely a setback. Did you honestly believe I would trust the future to some blind, half-night elf mongrel? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He was merely an instrument, a stepping stone to a much larger plan. It has all led to this, and this time, you will not interfere. My demise accomplishes nothing! Down. The Master will have you! You will drown in your own blood! The world shall burn! Ah! Hmm. So the orb... Um, ...was showing us what was going on in the Sunwell Plateau. The Naru have not forgotten us. Remain vigilant. Dionys Aka, may your days be long and your hardships yeah. few. We are very close to hitting honored with the 
Shattered set offensive. Definitely should hit that when we go to Sunwell Plateau. I am going to stop the stream here. Run and take my pictures on the way back out like I usually do. And then I will start up again for us to do the Sunwell Plateau. So I will see you guys here in a minute.